Hello, beautiful soul. I'm Vicki Howie of ChakraBoosters.com, the creator of Chakra Boosters Healing Tattoos. And I'm so glad you're here to join me for this seventh and final video in my series. This series is on the number one shadow quality of each chakra that we're going to tap on to literally unblock the chakra right here. We're not just gonna talk about it, we are going to do it. So, <laughs> if you haven't, for some reason you're maybe new to my channel and you're coming in on this video and you haven't seen the first video of this series on the root chakra quality, you need to go watch that because that video gives you a lot of understanding. It shows you how to tap and the specific points, because they're important, they're acupressure points, that we're going to tap on. It also talks a little about why tapping works and why it's so important that we tap on these negative qualities, why they help us to open all of our chakras. So please, go see that root chakra video if you haven't, and if you have, good for you. And let's just keep on moving forward if you've been going through this series. We are going to look at, the quality here is going to be a little lighter, because remember, when we're in the upper chakras, we get into a realm that isn't where we live as much. Many of us go here, if we go to church on Sunday or we do meditation on Sunday, uh, we used to call, when, when I was doing a lot of yoga classes on Sunday, we'd call it yoga church, but it just seems like Sunday is a very prayer day, a very prayerful crown day. So. If you do it like once a week, it's unlike the lower chakras that we're in all the time. So some of these qualities won't relate as much, but they're still part of your field. So I recommend that you still do the tapping to see what happens when you open to all of your chakras. So I'm doing a bit of an innocuous one up here. There's some pretty wild ones. And I will tell you the five qualities near the end of this video, the five shadow qualities for your crown. But if you want to see them in the video I did for that, then go watch my video on the five shadow qualities for the ch crown chakra. I will give you a short version of them at the end, but the longer version is much better because it shares with you the gift of each quality. Every one of these negative, quote unquote negative, qualities has a gift because we can't divide up our energy. Our power is our power. Now you can use your power in your solar plexus, you can use it positively, again I'm using quotes, or negatively. It can come off as leadership and uh, charisma, right? Or it can come off as narcissism and manipulation. It's the same pie. And being able to dial down any of these negative qualities to find the gift is very, very important. So up here in the rarefied world of the chakras, we're gonna look at dreamer. Now that, that we're gonna look at it in the negative way though. Unrealistic, I'm unrealistic, I'm not grounded. I don't deal with reality, that part of it. And if you have a pretty regular spiritual practice, like if you're very much dedicated to spiritual things, it's likely you've heard this from someone. <laughs> or maybe you have a friend that you've actually observed it in, right? When we spend a lot of energy up here, there can be a tendency to forget about the root chakra and the grounded reality of life. But the blessing of it is, Unrealistic, of course, leads to anything is possible, which is the realm of the crown because we're in the realm of consciousness. We're in the realm of God, of the universe, of awareness, whatever you want to call it. It's the realm where anything is possible. Magic happens. So let's tap on unrealistic, not, un not realistic, and ungrounded, but just not realistic, okay? So say that to yourself because we're going to start with the rating. If you've been following the series, you know we start by rating where we are with this quality so we can find out where we are at the end. Ask yourself how you feel about saying, I'm 
unrealistic. Another one is flaky. We might as well just say flaky because that's one that's used in a negative context. I'm, I'm a dreamer. And this means I'm not a dreamer who makes dreams come true. This is like, I'm just a dreamer. I'm an unrealistic dreamer. I'm flaky. I'm an unrealistic dreamer. I'm a, a flaky, unrealistic person. Pick the one that really encapsulates it for you and the one that makes you feel the most like, ew, I don't like that because we want to bring up agitation. That's what actually makes tapping work and shadow work. When we're pulling up the thing we most don't want to see and then we're, we're bringing it closer in a relaxed setting, in a safe and loving, self-loving setting. I'm unrealistic. I'm flaky. If zero was that does not affect you, who cares? So what? I am flaky. I am unrealistic. I am ungrounded. So what? Who cares? That's a zero. <laughs> 10 is, ooh, when people call me that or say I'm that, I just go nuts. And even just saying it to myself right now, my whole system's in alarm. That would be a 10. Where do you fall on that spectrum? Check out your score. Write it down. You could... Um, you could also just remember it, but if you want to be really realistic <laughs> and really grounded, write it down. Okay, so we're going to tap on it. You're simply going to follow through the points with me. You're going to do everything I do in both action and in words. And again, if you've seen the initial video, it's going to be easier, the root chakra video. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to start with the karate tap point. It's at the side of the hand right here. It's the fleshy part and I put both of them together. You can take your three fingers, two or three fingers and just tap there if you'd like, but I like to tap both. Okay. So I'm going to start with this one. We're going to go with this one. Even though I'm flaky and unrealistic, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm flaky and unrealistic, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm flaky and unrealistic, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And now we're going to tap through the points. I'm a flake. I'm not grounded. I'm not grounded in reality. I'm unrealistic. I'm an unrealistic dreamer. I'm flaky. I'm unrealistic. I'm an impossible dreamer. I'm unrealistic. I need to grow up. Because I'm unrealistic. And it makes me flaky. I'm not dealing with the real world. I'm out there. I'm an unrealistic dreamer. I'm flaky. I don't care if it seems possible. I'm a flaky believer.
I'm unrealistic. I don't care much for reality. Release your hands and take a deep breath from your root up to your crown. And then relax and exhale, let it settle. Deep breath in again. And let it go. And just let yourself settle in and notice if you feel more relaxed, especially around I'm flaky and unrealistic. Feel into that. I'm flaky and unrealistic or whatever term you were, I'm not grounded, I'm ungrounded, I'm unrealistic. Whatever you used before, check it now. See what your score is. See if your score has gone down it's less agitating. It's likely it has, but we're going to keep going another round. Are you ready? Okay. I'm unrealistic. I'm a friggin' dreamer. I don't even care if it's possible. I believe in the impossible. And I can be flaky. Because I'm unrealistic. I think reality is overrated. I prefer to dream and believe. Screw the skeptics. I'm unrealistic. Because reality is boring. I prefer to dream. And if that makes me unrealistic, so be it. If that makes me flaky, so be it. I'm unrealistic. Reality is boring. I prefer to dream. I'm an unrealistic dreamer. I believe anything is possible. Release your hands and take a deep breath in. And then let it go. Another deep breath in. And just relax and release. And then check in. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty relaxed and nice. Check into I'm an unrealistic, flaky dreamer. Whatever it was you used. I'm unrealistic. I'm flaky. I'm a dreamer. How does that feel now? Mine's definitely gone down. So if you wanted to go down even further, keep tapping on this for a little while longer. As soon as I finish this video, you just keep going on your own. And if you would like to unblock the other areas of the crown or the, the other aspects, the other shadow aspects that block the crown, I'm going to give those to you. But they are hard to understand without the context. So I would really like you to go watch my video on the five shadow uh, qualities of the crown 
chakra. So please try to do that, especially if you want to open your crown more and you want to work with these qualities. I'm so relaxed, I can barely talk. Okay, so a big one is many of us can't own the part of us that is God. We are literally underneath all your flesh and bones, you are moving energy, just moving consciousness. And that moving consciousness is the intelligence of the universe. It is the intelligence of God. You are God. You are a slice of the divine. So a good shadow to do is God complex, is that I am God, I think I'm God, I know I'm God, I am God. Because often we can't embrace the humble part of knowing that we are one with all that we are, a piece of the divine, because we won't, we think it's too haughty. It makes us too big for our britches, right? To say you're God is to say a lot. <laughs> I don't know that you can say anything bigger than that. So you can definitely work with God complex. Also, we worked with the concept of martyr in the heart chakra, but here it's the spiritual martyr, the one that would die for God, would give up everything for God. That's a good one here to tap on. The other one is possessed. All of us, when we allow ourselves to be channels, and we allow ourselves to even have empathic energies with another human being, there's a certain amount of like, quality that's almost a possession going on. Uh, we're letting other energies in. We're letting ourself mingle with other energies, channel other energies. And there are ways we need to be really clear in ourself to do that safely. But I think sometimes we're not even open to being a channel to the divine and to divine energies if we're not willing to embrace the shadow of possession, of being possessed. Again, these are described better in the longer video on the five shadow qualities of the crown chakra. And finally, there's the renunciant. We have this part of Opening to the divine is just opening to who you are because you are divine. There is consciousness running all through your body right now. It's, it's not up for debate. <laughs> Physicists show this is true now. You are consciousness literally in flesh. What we often do though, <clears throat> to when we feel the greatness within us, we sometimes put it outside of us and we make spirit and body opposite and yet your body is spirit. Like I just said, it is the divine intelligence throughout every cell. But we have this thing called renunciation. People sometimes on the spiritual path can feel the connection to the crown up here. So they make the lower part, uh, the body portion of themselves wrong. The root, which is the farthest away from the crown, is the home of the body. The root represents, root chakra represents body. So renunciants will often even hurt the body, harm the body. So there can be this renunciate aspect in all of us that we can embrace as a shadow quality that will help to open our crown chakra. I'm feeling a little blissy right now, so sorry if my words aren't as, as good as they could be. So that's it. You did it. If you've been through this whole series with me, you have done, you've tapped on, not just thought about, but tapped on, which is the work and the shifting, tapped on the number one shadow quality of each chakra. I hope you've seen lots of differences in your scores and you feel opening in your chakras and you're seeing it in different areas of your life. Because remember, Every chakra corresponds to actual areas of your life, which means it's a great map. Working with your chakras is a great map if there's this area out here in your life, your work area, for instance, that you want to work on or play with, then you can go to the chakra that relates, which in this case is the root. Want to boost your confidence? Go to the solar plexus. Want to boost your intuition? Go to the third eye and so on. Want to get more purpose? Go to the throat. So you can see they are a direct map. That's why I love the chakras so much. And that's why I love the embodied work so much because we're in the age of embodiment right now, the divine feminine, where we are bringing heaven down into this planet, into earth. And we're bringing heaven into each one of our own bodies. So 
good work. I'll have a nice surprise for you next week as I bring you another video, perhaps even another series. So I will see you then. Until then, have a blessed week. I love you so much.